Hello young scientist! It's another day to explore the amazing world of science. I am glad to be with you today and be part of your learning adventure in exploring the wonders of nature. I am Teacher Arlen, your science teacher for today. Are you excited to learn new things? Great! Good to hear that! But before that kids, don't forget to prepare your notebook, pen, and learning module as we go through in this exciting adventure. So come on, let's explore together! to this plant I'm worried what should I do I think the reason of my unhealthy plant is because of the type of soil I use what should be the appropriate soil for planting hmm let's study first examine the characteristics of several types of soil in order to determine which is the most appropriate to utilize for today's learning adventure, you will be able to compare and contrast the characteristics of the different types of soil. Specifically, you will learn to identify the different types of soil, explain the uses of the different types of soil, and compare and contrast the characteristics of the different types of soil. do you know about the different types of soil? Let's try to find out by answering the following questions. Are you ready kids? Let's begin! Directions Read the sentences carefully. Write your answer in your notebook. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Which type of soil does not hold water and drains quickly? A. Cell B. Clay C. Loam D. Sandy Your timer starts now. What is your answer? Good job! It's letter D, Sandy. Number 2. Which type of soil can hold the most water? A. Salt B. Clay C. Sand D. Humus Your timer starts now. What is your answer? Gray. It's letter B. Clay. Number three. When plants, animals, and other creatures die, they break down and become part of the soil. What is this part of the soil called? A. Clay. B. Silt. C. Sandy. D. Humus or loamy soil. Timer starts now. What is your answer? Amazing! It's letter D, humus or loamy soil. Number 4. Which type of soil feels smooth and powdery? A. Cell B. Clay C. Sand D. Loam Time is up! What is your answer? Ozone is letter A, silk. Number 5. Why is soil important to us? A. We build on it. 
B. Plants need it to grow. C. We walk on it. D. All answers are correct. Time is up. What is your answer? Excellent. It's letter D. All answers are correct. Were you able to answer the activity? That's great! I'm pretty sure that you are now ready for an exciting learning adventure. Do you know that the soil is part of the Earth's surface? Which includes disintegrated rocks, humus, organic and inorganic materials that provide the medium for plants to grow. For the formation of soil, it takes around hundreds and thousands of years. The soil is usually generated when rocks break up into their constituent parts. When a range of different forces acts on the rocks, they break into smaller parts to form the soil. The soil is mainly classified by its texture, proportions, and different forms of organic and mineral compositions. Soil is a mixture that contains minerals, organic matter, and living organisms. But broadly speaking, Soil can refer to any loose sediments. Moreover, there are many types of soil that are distributed around the world and these are generally classified into the following. Clay soil, sandy soil, loam soil, and silt soil. The soil consists of 45% minerals, 50% empty spaces or voids, and 5% organic matter. Furthermore, soil performs many important functions such as providing a growth medium for the plants, acts as changer of the Earth's atmosphere. One of the most crucial components of the biosphere provides habitat for organisms. Kids, can you identify a sandy soil? The first type of soil is the sand. It consists of small particles of withered rocks. Sandy soil are one of the poorest types of soil for growing plants because it has a very low nutrients and poor in holding the water which makes it hard for the plants roots to absorb water this type of soil is very good for the drainage system sandy soil is usually formed by the breakdown of fragmentation of rocks like granite limestone and quartz how about a silt soil silt which is known to have much smaller particles compared to sandy soil it is made up of rocks and other mineral particles which is smaller than the sand and larger than the clay it is smooth and quite fine quality of soil that holds water better than the sand. Silt is easily transported by moving currents and it is easily found near the river, lake, and other water bodies. The silt soil is more fertile compared to other three types of soil. Therefore, it is also used in agricultural practices to improve soil fertility. 
Clay is the smallest particle amongst the other two types of soil. The particles in this soil are tightly packed together with each other, with very little or no air space. This soil has a very good water storage quality and making hard for moisture and air to penetrate into it. It is very sticky to touch when wet, but smooth when dry. Clay is the thickest and the heaviest type of soil which do not drain well or provide space for plant roots to flourish. Loam is a type of soil which is a combination of sun, silt, and clay such that the beneficial properties from each is included. For instance, it has the ability to retain moisture and nutrients, and hence, it is more suitable for farming. This soil is also referred to as an agricultural soil as it includes an equilibrium of all three types of soil materials, being sandy, clay, and silt. And it also happens to have humus. Apart from this, it also has a higher calcium and pH levels because of its inorganic origins. Ah, that's how it is. Now I know what kind of soil plants need to grow healthy and abundantly. Well done! You already know the characteristics of the different types of soil. Now, let's check if you really understood the discussion by answering this activity. Find the hidden words related to our topic in the puzzle below. Words might be hidden horizontally, vertically, and diagonally. Write these words in your notebook. You will be given two minutes to answer this activity. Your timer starts now. Let's check your answers. Did you find the words easily? Excellent. Let's try another one. Direction. Match the column A to column B. 
Column B contains characteristics of terms from column A. Choose the correct letter of your answer. You will be given one minute to do this. Timer starts now. Time is up. Let's check your answers. Did you get all the correct answers? Excellent. Did you enjoy all the activities? Wow, I'm glad to know that. Now, let's have a short recap of what we have discussed today. Soil is usually referred to as a natural occurring organic material found on the Earth's surface. It is mainly composed of minerals, nutrients, water, and other inorganic particles and some residues of plants and animals. Sandy soil is formed by the smallest or fine particles of withering rocks. This soil is known as the poorest types of soil for agriculture and growing plants as they have very low nutritional value and poor in holding water. Clay soil is mainly composed of the smallest particles of soil, which are densely packed with very little or no air space and they effectively retain water. This soil is not suitable for growing plants as it is harder for moisture and air to penetrate into the soil. Loamy soil is the mixture of clay, sand, and silt soil which consists of additional organic matter and very fertile compared to other types of soil. It is well suited for cultivation as the plant roots get a sufficient amount of water and nutrients for their growth and development. Silt soil is a sediment material with an intermediate size between sand and clay. Carried by water during flood, it forms a fertile deposit on valley's floor. It is a non-plastic or low plasticity materials due to its fineness. Congratulations kids! We are almost done! Now it's time to assess your learning for today's lesson. Direction. Read the questions carefully and write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. You are given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's start. Number 1. What type of soil is the thickest and heaviest? A. Silt soil B. Clay soil C. Sandy soil D. Loamy soil your timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer? Yes, you are correct. It's letter B, clay soil. Number 2. The soil consists of minerals and organic compounds. How many percent of minerals the soil have as identified on the lesson? A. 35% B. 40% C. 45% D. 50% Your timer starts now. Time 
thumbs up. What is your answer, kids? Great job! It's letter C, 45%. Number 3. It is one of the poorest type of soil for growing plants. A. Silt soil B. Clay soil C. Loamy soil D. Sandy soil Your timer starts now. Time is up! What is your answer, kids? You got it right! It's letter D. Sandy soil Number 4 this soil is also referred to as an agricultural soil as it includes equilibrium of all three types of soil. A. Clay soil B. Loamy soil B. Silt soil D. Sandy soil Timer starts now! Time is up! What is your answer? Amazing! You got it right! It's letter C, loamy soil. Number 5. Soil performs many important functions except one. A. Does not provide habitat for organisms. B. Providing a growth medium for the plants. C. Acts as changer of the Earth's atmosphere. D. One of the most crucial components of the biosphere. Timer starts now. Time's up. What is your answer? Amazing! You got it right. It's letter A does not provide habitat for organisms. Congratulations, kids! You all did great today! Good job! Did you enjoy our science exploration, kids? Yes! That's great! Were you able to identify the different types of soil and its characteristics? Good job! Hope you answer all the activities in your module. In the following episode, we we'll learn more interesting facts about science. I am Teacher Arlen Lasha, your science teacher, and I will leave you a beautiful quote. There can be no life without soil, and no soil without life. They have evolved together by Charles Kellogg, a soil scientist. Thank you! Goodbye! Come on, no one will be left alone.